install the module for the Android Auto. And this is what we need. This is the module that we need to, to use for it. I'll add a link in the description below. And this is it. This and this right here. So we are going to try to install this module to to get a uh, Apple Apple CarPlay or whatever that is, and also Android Auto. So for this install, first we have to make sure that we have all the software. So the version of this software is, let's see, <laughs> it's seven zero point. 0 0.335 for North American version and for this first uh, I've already installed the software so I don't need to run to the and, and do that so what I did first I removed this and I removed the box from it so right now what I'm doing is I'm going to take it out from here but we have to run some cables do this okay so this is the old module and I have my SD card which I'm going to put away there so I don't think I need to take this off, but I do need to remove this part right here. So I don't need any fancy tools. I think all I need is these right here and possibly a flat screwdriver. So, but I, well, I'm just gonna take this off, this part off. So let's begin. So here we have two wires, two cables connected to the parking brake. And, and this thing, so you just gotta take them off, press the little tabs in there, and this whole piece comes off. You can just pull it up. Um, this is a 2016 Mazda 6, it doesn't have a screw in here. So some models have a screw down here. So please make sure before you start taking things off, make sure there's no screw there. If there's no screw, you can just pull it up. All right, put this part away. So I see we have a mess in here. I'm gonna clean that up. So from here, we need to get this part also here, and I think this part right here just comes up easily. And the bottom part as well. This little panel back down here also comes off easily okay then where do we put my flashlight so for this we have to run some cables uh, that are gonna run from somewhere around here they're gonna run down there so just bear with me I'm gonna take this off as well, maybe not. Okay, let's try to get to the CMU. So for this, I gotta remove this. Also, you just need to get your glove box off. It's really easy to get <laughs> to get it off and get this part right here. Just gotta follow follow the tabs off first. I forgot. I gotta take this part off first. Not all the way, exactly, but... Okay. I think 
think that's good enough. And we start pulling prime on this one. Slowly. Okay, here, don't jank it because this is the hazard. Hazard light cable. But first, we have to remove it. Have to push it down there. For that, in my scooter. There. Now we can pull this entire piece off. And there it is. Okay. Put it to the side. Now, for this next move, we have to remove that screw. That it's it's a 10 millimeter screw. I have some extension core, some extensions and a socket, ah, which is this right here. Go in. And loosen up this screw. So make sure you don't lose this one. All right, just gotta put it down there. And now the, each, the CMU will come off easily. All right, so let me just put this flashlight away. But before you do, be careful. We have that start button here. So we gotta make sure we take that off. As well, so there's a connector. Okay, there it is. Got it from down there. Okay, so now we can pull the CMU off, but before we do that. We have to disconnect these wires that are holding it back here. All right, so we have to do this one for that. I need my screwdriver. What is my screwdriver? Oh, we're missing. Oh, shoot. I got it right here. So I gotta get this thing off. Very easily. And then we'll get these other two connectors off. This is the GPS connector as well. And so is this blue connector. And this is your CMU unit. So these two wires that come with this kit, this blue and and green, green is gonna go here, blue is gonna go here, and then we have to route everything through there, all the way through here, to make it come out of here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's see here, I'm just gonna put this away somewhere back here. Okay, so it's in a safe place, and. I'll start running this case down. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I just put this thing last night in. The ends don't really get stuck in there. These are all the instructions, which sometimes you don't need them. Only the zip ties, only this. These are gonna go here. Down there, zip tie, and this is the entire table here. So for this, for the previous cable, for this one, we will need to. Oh, actually, this is for the cigarette lighter. For this one, this green one, we can't take it off. So we'll just uh, we'll just add one of these. I 
this so it doesn't rattle so this will not be used anymore this green one also this green one too this one right here won't be used make sure you plug this thing because this is for your GPS if you have a GPS card it won't work if you don't plug this thing this one in and these are two are the main connectors you can see them here man it's a lot of dust in this thing cool all right so let me put some tape on this thing just a bunch of tape or oh yeah here it is it's just one little piece not all of it so it's a screen connector we won't be needing no more okay so this green one it's done so let's untangle this one right here because the tape this thing still has some tape in there Either I run it through there or <sighs> okay, I guess I'll have to find a way to run it through here. Actually, here is a good spot. No, it's to be from back here. So let's see a good spot to run this through. Okay, I think I see a spot from there where I can run these cables through alright so let's begin running these cables through first I gotta make sure that it's not gonna get in the way of uh, see a way to do it this panel is not coming off and I don't really want to take it off okay so thinking on this it's best to oh, what is this another connector here I don't know what's that for it's there if anyone knows what is this for please leave a comment there so I guess is that I'll have to take this off in order to run the cable through. All right. I don't see a way to get it done. for the automatic transmission anyway so let's get that thing out of there ah shoot just sorry for the it's really inconvenient to do this in the dark but this is the only day I have a chance to do it so I'm doing it for all my viewers
so I'm not gonna take it off from here. So, oh no, I pulled the wrong one. Yes, oh. <laughs> I pulled the wrong one. This one's supposed to go this way. This one is what's gonna go to the stereo. So, time to pull it back again, out again. this part we need to zip tie these three wires uh, I believe this one here and this one these three wires need to be zip tied and then this one bent back so just bear with me for a minute while I zip tie these two wires I need a bigger light Okay, so it's hard to get there now. And this one folds back. go to the stereo also this one and this is done but I'd like to cut that part of it hmm. I don't know. think this piece of it It's gonna have oh, I cut myself a little bit. It's okay. Okay, so this is how screws here and this one as well Here. Okay. 
so let's do that with the cable so this these two go connected to the module this right here that goes here and black one goes right there all right that's how they go and then the other connector but I'm gonna finish this thing so let's run the wires that's ah, really hard I want to get another flashlight all right we have real light here possibly just throw that over there get this thing out of here and maybe talk my fingers all right so let's begin trying to get this thing I know the glare of the light probably is gonna be a lot but that's all I got for now See, it's not supposed to go through here, it's supposed to go to the other side. God damn it. Run it through. I'm thinking here. All I have to see because at the end, it's super bright. a chance you can replace your AC filter I already did mine a couple couple of thousand miles there's some trash in it but it's not that bad all right so it's a good chance to replace it and this foam I put it in there to some didn't the, the, uh, the carcass these cars do make a lot of noise, so I'm just gonna tie it through here. Let's see that here. So it doesn't fall. Or was it on the side? You know what? I think I screwed up. Should have put it on the bottom. I need to run the cable, the cable somewhere else. So I'm gonna work it safer than this. And that's a little sharp to begin with. So the safest I can get this cable through here is maybe here, like this, the side of it. On the side is good. So let's get a zip tie. 
The kit comes with a couple of zip ties, but I have more, so I don't worry too much about that. Okay, so this is the one I ripped. It's not good. And let's get this put in the drink here. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, foam in there, because that one was what's called a uh, shoot. Shuffle. Uh, let's put a little piece of this. Should have cleaned this mess, but I work on the buff YouTube, so I don't have time. Run out of time, most of the time, so that's what happens when well, you got a day, daily job. Okay, so seems to be okay right there. That is great right there. That's good. Oops, sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to put the screwdriver, just screws there, and we're going to move on to this part down here. Okay, so this is the last part of it, and we have a lot of, uh, a lot of wiring. Damn it. Put these in here. Okay, so this is the airbags, airbag CPU. That's for the AC. Oh, there's no wires in there. Okay. So let's get this thing from here. Just bend this, do it like this, 
and on this thing like that but the cup holder goes here so let's see the elk the screens what's the screens doing here wonder what that grease is doing there okay So we gotta make sure it's away from the moving parts of this. So let me see if there's any moving parts. Yeah, down here there's. All right. Okay. So I think I'll leave the excess of cable here. Excess is gonna go here. here a slack here and there's another zip tie to find it there's one zip tie and we'll use another one just to keep things from moving and finally this will do it. There. There. And also this one here. This. Yeah. We'll cut it. I think it's okay. It's fine now. All right. So I'm just gonna tuck this in here in the hopes it doesn't get in the way or vibrates its way down. Okay. I don't know where the tip go. So I'm really concerned about these wires being here, just like this. Okay, this is gonna go in here like that. So these clips need to get in here. So yeah, maybe maybe it's not a bad idea to put it there. Alright, so before we put everything back together, we gotta test it. Gotta make sure it works. So let me get the uh, module here. This one here. Okay, and then we're gonna put this one as well. And I have my GPS card. Oh yeah, let's reinstall this one too. And let's get these screws here back here. And where they belong. Oops, wrong hole. Alright, so, just to test it on my phone, I only have my Android right now. So, I'll be using this cable right here, my Android. But before we do anything, we have to connect the ECU. Plug it in. What to plug these things in here first? So blue goes here. Hmm, you click there, and green goes here. Just like the other one, but click. Okay, now gotta connect the GPS. The other big connector. Where is the other one? Where's the blue one? Hey, somebody stole the blue one. Oh, here it is, back here. Now, let me test this 
thing. So, let's test it out, see if it works. Now I gotta get my console here. Just, uh... <laughs> Just gonna throw it over here. Just then, the thing. So let's get this thing on here. Oh, my phone's already already have it, so it can uh, connect to under auto. Okay, let's put this. Let's plug this at least this one right here, so we can see how it works. I don't understand why it's not doing anything. I don't know why it doesn't go all the way to all the way to uh, Android. Well, at least I have it there. Start the app. I don't know. Let's see, exit. Okay. Hello. The module seems to be working. Stop the vehicle when it's safe to do so and follow the instructions. Okay, hold under the do continue. Uh, continue. Well, I don't know. Do I need to do any settings or anything like that? Um, let's 
seems that okay let's plug the parking brake and see what it does now that this thing is already plugged in Just park. I'll just add the parking brake because it may be doing that. All right, there, there. Green. Just gonna close the entire app. Exit. Okay, so under auto is. Okay, so it doesn't go there. Mm. Okay, code went away. Let's do Android Auto again. Well, it's not. I don't know why it's not working. Cars. My Mazda. Okay. No. Turn on Bluetooth as well. Maybe wireless projection. Well. I need, to, I, need to, I need to see how to set this thing up because apparently it's not I mean it's there because those two were not even there so alright I guess I'll do my thing uh, what was the code? Uh, 11 no, press the L a couple of seconds because since I installed the software, the new thing, it didn't touch screen while driving, it's disabled. Huh. It's not doing it. Charge 
Okay. There it is. Don't disturb Andre Auto. Okay. Well, I don't understand why it's not working, so screw it. I'm done. Alright, so trying to put everything back the way it should be. Almost forgot. Alright, so I gotta get this thing off again. So let's do that. Yeah. Put on these wires through here. Let's disconnect them. Away. Well, actually, we gotta put it back where it belongs, which is that thing over there. Okay, so this just snaps in here, and it's done. So, well, there, but for now, I think we're running this wire through here, down here. Tie this other one here. So find the zip tie. Ah, yeah. So it doesn't rattle. here let's get these two bastards here so this this one they only have one way to fit so there's no problem if we cause them they only fit in one way what the heck oh you see this one doesn't fit in here and this one doesn't fit here so they have their own thing this one also doesn't fit here that one stays blank that one you don't connect anything to that one and then plug the secret lighter and this guy right here and This is how we've done with the installation of this thing right here. Alright, that's done. This one is just gonna sit down here like this, nice and neat. And this little clip here. Okay. So this is done here. Oh, I did the wires for that. All 
right, so that's done. Let's put together everything. So let's put, let's push the ECU where it belongs. Okay. Let's put the bolt. Let's find the ratchet and extension. This thing right here, just down, and I think I should put the other parts first. Let's put this thing on here now. <laughs> now, where did that one go? Here you are. Hazard switch. Let's make sure it works. Yes, it does. Alright, cool. And let's put everything back the way it was. Okay. I'm surprised this thing just comes off really easy. This part over here. All right. So. It a screwdriver. Huh. Where the hell did it go? Oh, here it is. So, sort of tighten these ones right here. And then this one. Okay. Okay, finally. This piece can come now. up and ensure I plug both of them so I'll connect this one first this is my break and this is my second one That one went in there. What the heck? Oh, I see, I see. So, yeah, this is the right one. This was the right one. So I'm going to connect through there, and then you just push this thing down like this. Or you know what? Maybe not. these side pieces first. And this thing needs a cleaning, a good cleaning. Anyway, so these go goes here. No, this one goes here. down 
next one. No. This one. Yes. Bottom one. 